Morning, my friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Daveville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day. And what a great weekend it's been as we have had the opportunity to worship and serve the Lord. And what a great week it's going to be as we look forward to uh, Good Friday and uh, Easter Sunday. What a powerful week this is going to be. And I encourage you to come and join us for all of our activities uh, this week, starting Wednesday night with our uh, combined service at First Baptist Church, Real Town. Uh, it's going to be a great night, so come and be there with us at 6.30. Uh, we've been talking about the, the final days, and I promise you we'll be talking about this coalition that we're seeing forming over in Europe with Russia and, and in the Middle East with Saudi Arabia and all this happening, and how this could be a very uh, strong precursor to uh, what's called the War of Gog and, and Magog, as these enemies of Israel come against her, and God supernaturally destroys them. But we see... Uh, Russia, Saudi Arabia, Iran uh, coming together, Libya and, and some of these other nations that are forming alliances. And now we see Japan uh, deciding to ignore the boycott of Russian oil and begin to, to purchase that. We see what's going on between Russia and Ukraine and uh, understand that that's going to have a, a significant effect on everything moving forward because I believe Russia is going to do whatever it takes to win that war, and uh, that brings us dangerously close to uh, a third world war. Uh, but as we talk about this, I want you to understand, if, if you want to see some, some powerful prophecies and see the fulfillment of those prophecies, uh, go back to Isaiah chapter 24 through 28, and even some before that, where there's prophecy after prophecy of God's judgment upon nations, and the majority of those prophecies have already been fulfilled. Um, in Isaiah chapter 24, we come to the, 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 the major prophecy, and that's the coming destruction of the whole earth, where we see in the day of the Lord a judgment over the entire planet, uh, coming of the great tribulation uh, and destruction of earth by earthquakes, fire from heaven, other natural disasters. Uh, and you see all of this as we move forward through the book of Revelation, as we move forward through this, these prophecies, you, you discover that these things are coming true. Uh, and it's, of course it is, because it's God's word. But then I want to talk to you a little bit about the, the war of Gog and Magog. And over the next few days, I'm going to share some of my thoughts about this. But let's start by defining who Gog and Magog are, where, where this, when this prophecy will take place, and what countries will be participating in this coalition against Israel. And I'm reading from some notes here, and that's why it may seem a little strange today. But the Hebrew prophet Ezekiel lived in Babylon, which is in Iraq, more than 2,500 years ago, and the Lord gave him a vision of these events that would take place in the future, and they are still in the future because these things have never happened yet. Uh, go to Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 16. It specifically tells us that these events will take place in the last days, that is, in the end times, <clears throat> before the Messiah comes to set up his kingdom on earth. Now, chapters 36 and 37 of Ezekiel set the stage for the war of Gog and Magog by describing that Israel will be reborn as a country in the last days. The Jews will come back to the Holy Land from exile over from, from all over the world. And the Jewish people will rebuild the ancient ruins and make the deserts bloom again. Now, these things have all happened starting in 1948 when Israel reconstituted as a nation and as they have grown and, and faced challenge after challenge after challenge. And all of this has happened and it suggests that we are getting very close to the fulfillment of this next set of prophecies. Ezekiel 38.2 tells us that the war will be led by someone known as Gog. Now, this is probably not a personal name. We're not looking for someone named David Gog or Ahmed Gog or, or Dmitri Gog. Uh, Gog is more like a, a title, like Pharaoh or Tsar. Uh, and through this prophecy, this Gog is described as a military leader, a political leader, and a coalition builder. In Ezekiel 38.10, he's described as developing an evil plan. And so we know this is an evil man. He's a tyrant. And there are there's no shortage of those in uh, this area of the world that we're, we're talking about. But the Hebrew prophet gives us more clues. He says this Gog is going to be from the land of Magog. Now, you have to do some historical detective work to discover what Magog is, but it is possible. Uh, the, the first uh, century uh, historian Flavius Josephus wrote in his famous book, The Antiquities of the Jews, that the people of Meg Magog are the people whom the Greeks called Scythians. Now, this is a critical clue 
uh, because we know from history that the Scythians were a people group that migrated from the Middle East northward and settled north of the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea in the region we know today as Russia and the former Soviet Republic. There's some other interesting clues as well. We'll talk about these tomorrow. But as we begin this process, understand that there is evidence of where this is going to come from, what it's going to be, and even when it's going to take place. So follow along, share this with folks who might be interested, and uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Be blessed.